So last night I had one of these terrible speaker dreams. I was standing in front of the audience and nobody was there. And I all, only saw Kevin, the organize, uh, he organized the, the TED conference, and he really laughing and to me and showed me, look back. And so I turned around and saw the whole audience behind me. And I think that was a good point to me this morning to realize uh, why I'm here and what what I'm talking about, I think, is um, a lot about have somebody behind you to do something. And I come from, a, from the countryside and we have lots of problems with young people because they, all of them, they don't think so they have a future on the countryside. Maybe you have the same thing in, in your country and in many other countries. And because there is no future, there's nobody behind them to give them a space where they really can do what they really, really want. And that was because of my background. I worked as a regional developer in the Salzkammergut. Maybe you know Austria, Mozart, and all this kind of stuff. But it's not very innovative country. It's all of our structures are really strong and you can follow the old structures or you have to move. And that was also my, when I was young, I also moved outside the country because I didn't realize that I can do something here. And if you think about uh, a new idea, you, you need also uh, to think about what is the structure behind and what is the structure that is around us that we uh, can change really something and do something really new. And I realized together with a group of, of people, young people, they moved back from outside and we realized if we do something, depending on one of these structures, there is nothing new because we follow these old structures. And we started to think about how could we do something really new for the young people, for the old people, they want to be, do something innovative again. And it doesn't work. What could be this new model hour and be? And so we thought we have to go to these people, they can make this decision to open up a free space for everybody. And so we find a mayor in the region and another one too, and we went to the city council and we asked them, give us a free space. We create a kind of hosting team and you have to pay for the space and you don't can say something to us that we don't follow your rules, we do what, we, we try out experiments and do something, what we really would love to do in this space. And they said yes. And that was a kind of, wow, why? And they gave us this, this was an old school and uh, they don't need it anymore. And so the 700 square meters and we started to do something in there. And it, well, we had a lot of fun there. And so we started also to think about if we host a space, you need something really strong. You need a kind of message that somebody who went into this space feel really welcome to bring out the potential that's inside. And we, we also realized in our society, everybody has to do something that uh, you really important thing and, but on the other hand, we have not so many people, they really support us for the enabling process. And we realized it's so much fun to create a kind of hosting team if somebody comes in with a new idea to connect them with the whole world to bring this idea to the next step. 
And this was one thing, to think about new things, to discuss new ideas, to follow this kind of charter, and starting a kind of movement in Austria. At this time, we have 27 locations running like this, and now the first in Italy and also in Germany, and also in Detroit starting. And because of this simple idea, hosting a space and bring people in to do its best. And another thing is, and this is Flora, I really would love to introduce her. You see she is constructing a, a, a dragon with a 3D printing pen. And she's 11 years old, and she's really good in painting dragons. And we ask her, uh, what, what would be the best possible way for you to share this with others? And she said, yes, of course, I can do this with only four persons and only adults because kids are so noisy. And so we said, okay, yes, because we would like to host you that you have a lot of fun sharing your knowledge. And that follows our rule in the same way that we would like to host people to share what they really would love to share with others and feel, feel really good when they are doing this. And this is also one of our basics, and this creates a kind of community education program because so many people know now it's so easy to share things. And around in Austria, we have no much, so many budget, so about 3,500 euros at all for all 27 locations. But we have more than 8,000 people in this program every year because people starting to share what they really would love to share with others. And this is one very strong thing that, that Otello becomes kind of movement in Austria. And the next thing what we do, if you have a strong idea, you need also a space if you go deeper into it. And so we have another rule, if at least five people are together following one idea, we give them a room and a space where they go, go into this idea for free. The only thing they have to do is to share with others. And that is the next uh, strong thing, to bring something new into the world. And so we created, a, for example, this note, this, a group of dancers, you see, of course, <laughs> and they, nobody gave them a room to train, to train and to dance and to do because the music is loud and everything. We gave them the room and now they are European masters in this. And they have a lot of fun and they already in our Otello because they know this is our home base. To give people, young people, but also old people a home base is I think one of the most important things in this time. Another example, the next. In 3D printing, we started a kind of node 2010, and this young guy, he is 19 years old, looks not like 19 years, but he was 19 years old. That was 2010. He started with another group building their own 3D printers. And now, these two guys, the other one with the, the beard, uh, he, both of them started their own company. One is RepRap Austria and the other one is Evotech. And now they are really famous in Austria. And they came up with a node, only experimenting with things and bring resources together. And this is, I think, that is our main thing. We provide a space before a startup starting because we need spaces where we can play and create and do things they will, that we really, really want to do. And another thing is, and that's why I'm here and, and made a profession to this, we also created a kind of new working model because I had a one-person company like all the others here, and we came together and we said, okay, make a company together 
And our goal is not to earn a l much money, but enough money to have a good life. And the best thing we can get is free usable time. That's only possible because we are in a cooperative and working together and sharing things in a good way. And that creates a kind of new business model in Austria. And now we are moving also to other country to only to inspire, not to force something. It's an invitation to do something behind a strong, with a strong community like you are. Thank you very much. Thank you, Martin.